It's just about 1.30 here on 90.3 KEXP here in Seattle and KEXP.org worldwide. I'm Stevie Zoom in for Cheryl for the Midday Show. Going to be with you through to the top of the hour. Lucinda Williams just finishing up that set with Everything But the Truth, a new one of hers that's on the soundtrack to The Lone Ranger, which I've not seen yet. Probably I'll just stick to the soundtrack, but that's me. We are ready for some live music here in our studios. We want to welcome Future Birds here. They are here. They are performing tonight at Barboza. Welcome to Seattle, guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, glad to be here. Talk about your uh, latest album in a little bit, but if you're ready for a couple songs, that'd be great.
Very nice. Live music here at KEXP. You're listening to Future Birds. That was the song American Cowboy and the first one, Tan Lines. And they're performing tonight at Barboza. Both those songs from the new release, Baba Yaga. Yes. It came out about three months ago. Again, welcome to the station. Welcome to Seattle. Thanks so Thanks much. Thanks for having us. I know that uh, since this release in April, you guys have been uh, pretty busy, pretty much mostly on the road. I think that's kind of your mantra with you guys. It's kind of got to be. There's no choice. Uh, how about a few little introductions around the room? You want to start, Carter? Yeah, I'm Carter King. What do you want to know about me? Oh, no, just uh, I thought just introduce the names of the band to uh, our listeners. I'm Thomas Johnson. I'm Daniel Womack. I'm Brandon Miles. Dennis Love. Johnny Lennon. All right. <laughs> That's Colorado to you. <laughs> Thanks, for everybody, for being here. I um, wonder if you could talk a little bit about the record. Uh, this is a band. You've got several or almost everybody that is uh, writing songs, bringing ideas to the table for the songs, and uh, things have pretty much go from there. Is that how it works out? 
Yeah, uh, it, it, it kind of varies. Uh, you know, every people kind of bring in their ideas in uh, varying stages of completion. And uh, so uh, it kind of depends. Uh, sometimes it's like a really finished idea that someone brings to the table and we can, you know, there's a clear path for it already set out by whoever was writing it. But other times it's just kind of a skeleton and everybody adds, uh, everybody adds their flavor regardless. Yeah, but, you uh, wanted to finish that idea. Right. It's like, uh, okay, that's a finished idea. But, yeah, no, I like that version. But, uh, <laughs> but I got some ideas. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do my idea too. So, uh, but no, with, with so many singer or with so many, uh, songwriters it's good because it, it it takes the pressure off any one person from having to shoulder the load of you know putting out you know 10 or 11 you know super perfect songs number one hits yeah you, yeah. you guys don't stick to the format of uh two minutes and 40 seconds for songs you have a lot of songs where you kind of uh, stretch things out i i would guess that that kind of uh it's a tad, like we tad said longer we a lot that. of ideas a lot of ideas and you, that's the point is kind of have room for uh, the songs to kind of stretch out and develop yeah, exactly. That's pretty much the way it's kind of worked out since this band first started? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd now, say so. I know that the the journey of finally having this album come out is very long, and we're not going to spend time. Just suffice to say, it took a very long time. And it was arduous. Hard, had a lot of doubts for quite a while, but finally it was released through Fat Possum. I was wondering if at any time anybody during that time period of waiting for this to happen sort of had your spirits dampened about uh, performing or pursuing music. Uh, absolutely. There is one tour in particular in like the darkest time when uh, <laughs> kind of conversations with, with one group that was going to help us put it out just kind of fell through, and, and we went on this tour, and it was just, man, it was such a bummer. <laughs> when, such a bummer. I was thinking about it, though, on the way in. The, uh, the tour where things actually fell through for sure I remember getting the call uh, when we were in Seattle at this, just the worst hotel ever. And uh, it was a classic Seattle day. It was like cloudy and drizzling. And we were like, oh, God, like, ah, it's not coming out. And it's just, uh, so yeah, things got low. But I don't, I don't know if we ever doubted that it would you know, come the, out. Yeah, or doubted that this is what we wanted to do or, or should be doing. But it's just kind of, spirits definitely got low, Yeah, you know. Now, home base for you guys is Athens, Georgia, correct? Mm -hmm. Did most of you uh, grow up there or spend a lot of time there? Yeah, most of us uh, migrated there. there in our late teens, early 20s for either college or this music or something. Formative years. That's what I was going to ask and, uh, next is just uh, hanging around there. Yeah. Um, going there, seeing that it was a place where uh, music has been a part of Athens, Georgia for forever, for several decades. And that uh, kind of was something that uh, you could go there and and uh, kind of find other folks that we for their ideas. Yeah, uh, there's definitely so many musicians there, especially per per capita, I guess, uh, mm -hmm. and so many people doing cool things. And uh, Athens is great because since it's a smaller place, you can it really allows for you know in your in your young years when you're not necessarily don't necessarily have the best ideas. It allows you to flesh them out without getting totally <laughs> ripped apart by you know some critic or something, and kind of kind of allows allows you to. It, it kind of allows the artist to be built up a little bit more, and and also it's cool because you can. It's a small city, so you know you don't, you know you can build a, a fan base there, and you know kind of not feel so overwhelmed by a bigger city like Atlanta or and Nashville it's, it's or dirt cheap. Oh yeah, to live it's, too. yeah, God, it's ridiculous. Oh, a lot of folks here are gonna be like hearing that maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Music and cheap. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's I. It's a place where, as you were saying, it's a place where you can go get your ideas, find some other folks. If you make some errors along the way, it's no big deal because you, there's other folks there in Athens that are kind of doing the same thing you Making are. Right, and, and, states, yeah, and, yeah. They, and they don't just write you off because you had a, a bad show or or you started a bad band. That would be uh, <laughs> some of the, that, would, that would be a couple of those other cities you just right. mentioned. Yeah, yeah. I have a I wanted to ask about one of the songs here. Uh, a deadhead friend of mine wanted me to ask you if you would say anything about the song Keith and Donna. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. uh, well, that was written by Peyton Bradford, who's no longer uh, in the band, but uh, he's a big, he's a big deadhead, and I think that song was about kind of taking the good with the bad, or taking the bad with the good, and so it's kind of you know you've got Keith, Keith. but you got to take Donna too. <laughs> Keith, yeah, Keith and Donna was a metaphor for uh, you know what that song's about. Yeah. 
for maybe sure. a little bit from kind of the whole uh, you know journey of this record in a way too. Yeah, yeah, for definitely. Sure. Future Birds here in the studio. Baba Yaga is the album on Fat Possum, on their planet Barboza this evening. And if you're ready for a couple more songs, yeah. yeah.
It's 90.3 KEXP here in Seattle. You're listening to live music from Future Birds. That was wonderful. The vocal harmonies, the elements of the folk and the pedal steel and the psychedelic sounds. Very nice. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. And, a lot. and uh, the, the, uh, the album Baba Yaga on Fat Possum and uh, things are definitely, uh, definitely looking positive for you guys since that uh, album has sure been released. Are. The band it's is radiating playing. positivity right now. <laughs> All right, the band it's is really playing. Hot, t- band is playing tonight at Barboza. A big thank you to our engineer Jackson and Kevin Cole coming up at the top of the hour for the afternoon show, and he's going to be telling you all about live music and KEXP tomorrow from the Space Needle, and you can all watch too. So Kevin will tell you all about that. I'm Stevie Zoom. It's ninety point three KEXP Seattle. Thank you. Great. Man, yeah. Oh man, that was a blast.